for Brian Allen and Scotty Giddos. The five, a mirror girl, is Dave Smith and Lactar Ramoli. And the seven, Vino Palantina, Dave Smith and Brandon Louie. 1100 metre trial, they're making their way around to the start. $1.80, $2.10, $4 today, $4.20. And plenty of punters out there who are buttering up yet again. He did open up at five. For mine, he's been very disappointing of recent times, but hopefully the change of colours brings with it a change of luck. Number two, Manganui late scratching. Number three, Design Grey. Gary Bowen puts a set of blinkers on this five-year-old at only his second start up at Kalgoorlie. Beaten three and a half by Mr Beers at his first run. Steps from 1,200 out to 1,400 metres. Middle of the preparation. Should be able to hold a spot as well. Number four, plainly spoken, and another scratching. So five, Gems Man is the next one to preview. A seven-year-old geld in by Gingerbread Man. Jeff Eels prepares. Scott Giddos takes the ride. And was a really good effort, actually, at 40 to 1, first up without a trial. Was beaten a length by Mr Beers. Should come on with that. Had a lot of opportunities. Goes around a big price. But if he reproduced that fresh effort, he wouldn't be impossible at a big quote. $21. Number six, Absolute Plum, stablemate to big player and equal favourite at $4.20, the current call. Went around at 2.80 last start in the mile maiden that was won by the final bell. Ended up leaders back, never really built much momentum and from there didn't look like he had the sprint to go with them. I'm thinking drawn off the fence could be a blessing in disguise, but still we'll need a big ride here from Lucy Fiore as she looks to start the program with a race to race double. Number seven, Schwa Riska has his second run for new trainer Peter Fernie, and Zephan Johnster Porter takes off two kilos. A backmarking type with very little early and tactical speed, so he's going to end up a fair way off them, you would think, in this capacity lineup of maidens. He's at $10 out from eight. Number eight, I had a dream put in a very cheeky run last start when having his first run at Kalgoorlie for Josh Brown when beaten a short half head by Mr. Beers. Goes from 1,200 to 1,400 and has the speed to get across from that awkward draw is an $11 chance as he looks to go one better today. The next horse we move to is number nine, Pirates Alley, a newcomer to the region, now with Peter Fernie, formerly with Grant and Alana Williams, and the Grant and Alana Williams apprentice in Chanel Cooper takes the ride today and brings the weight down to 55 kilos. Last seen on a heavy eight when beaten five and three quarters by the Hill Tribe, but the fresh run wasn't too bad behind Big Bad Baggins over 1,300. The wide draw, however, makes it tough. He's a $6.50 chance on the third line of betting. Number 10, a lot of fighting, trained by Paul Tapper to be ridden by Christy Bennett, the second of two greys in this lineup. The debut performance was excellent behind American Thighs, and the two efforts since behind Edward's Choice and Don't Wait for Luck were both serviceable. At around that $9.50 quote, he should be running a nice, honest each-way race. Number 11, Charging Bull, Helen Harding today legs aboard Cassie Martin, and who takes off a kilo and a half. From the inside draw, expect that he's probably going to be back in traffic because we haven't seen much early speed from him so far. Could be a bit of an awkward ride as well at $34. Number 12, Sassy Sky, a sassy mare at that. She went out very early with the clerk of the course. Lakhtar Romilly takes the ride today and he tends to get the best out of horses at Kalgoorlie Lakhtar. He rides the track particularly well and in a race without a lot of speed and early tempo, I thought that he could find a nice forward spot on this mare and she got her chance today. She's $6.50. She's on top for Royce Newton, and she's on top for myself as well. Number 13, a lounder star. Trevor Tasker and Chloe as a party combine. Beaten four lengths by Don't Wait for Luck last start at 60 to 1. Certainly raced like she wanted a bit further and gets it here today, but she's a $34 chance. Number 14, Naughty Love, Christy Bennett, and a lot of family members in the ownership of this galloper. So you'd imagine that she would have had the choice of both Naughty Love and a lot of fighting from Paul Tapper's yard, and she's elected to ride the stable mate. So Troy Turner picks up the ride here. This mare's looking for improvement, and I imagine a bit of distance later on in the campaign. $23. The first emergency gains a run here, neck minute, for Helen Harding now and Lisa Staples. A month between runs, 2,000 metres back in distance today to 1,400. And you imagine that she's probably going to, he's probably going to do it a bit tough from that barrier as well. Likely to be three and four deep at stages. He's the roughy of the field at 70 to 1. Four minutes away from the second event here at Kalgoorlie. My numbers are 12, 8, 6 and 10. I'm going to go here with Sassy Sky. She has been a 
fairly consistent type since arriving here on the gold field. She goes around each way. She should settle in the first four or five and running, stay out of trouble, and hopefully today is the day for her to break through. Eight, I had a dream, put in a very good run last start. Number six, in absolute plum, didn't really get the right run to suit. And number 10, I'll include a lot of fighting. 12, 8, 6, and 10 equal $4 favourites. Number one, big player, and number six, absolute plum. But I'm going 12, 8, 6, and 10, and hoping that today's the day for Sassy Sky. Three minutes away from the second at Cal, Royce Newton with you shortly. Okay, two minutes off start time for the running of race number two, the Aquila Mining Proprietary Limited Maiden. Competitive betting affair, that's for sure. It's uh, 390 to the field. Your favourite is Absolute Plum. 390, just ahead of the stable mate. Big player at $4. Sassy Sky at 6 Pirates Alley at 8 And then next best is $11, which is Shah Riska. Schwa Riska and I had a dream at twelve dollars, so plenty of value on offer. Field of thirteen to run over the fourteen hundred meters. Sassy Sky went around there nice and early. Lacked uh, Ramoli in the saddle. A lot of fighting on screen. Lightly race galloper. This is start four for the Tapper Train runner been okay in his uh, first few starts. Naughty Love also saddled up by Paul Tapper, Troy Turner in the saddle today. A lot of fighting, a 9.50 chance. So Absolute Plum, who's on screen in those yellow and black colours, is your favourite at 3.80 as they're coming up towards the line. If you don't want to know the footy score, just block your ears. At the MCG, it's Hawthorne, 70, leading Carlton, 31. So 39-point lead to Hawthorne. Okay, so we've roughly got half the field locked away. Thanks, Keith. Yes, uh, runners coming forward here for the running of race number two, the Aquila Mining Proprietary Limited Maiden, field of 13, your favourite, Absolute Plum, 380 with Tab Touch, 390 on the Paramutual, ahead of Big Player at 480, fixed. The next best is... Sassy Sky, who's had some late support, 650 into 550 in the dying stages of betting time remaining. So Pirates Alley coming up, expected an each way price, and Neck Minute will be the last one to come forward and complete the line. Over at the Hannans Handicap start, 1,400 metres ahead of them. And a Neck Minute goes forward. We look to be set. Stand by. There we go. Gates fly back. They're off racing. Now, 
Charging bull miss the kick. It goes straight out the back door. Schwa Riska, no early speed. Likewise, neck minute from a wide draw going back. I had a dream with early speed. Goes forward with a lot of fighting. They eyeball each other up front. Now settling down third, Sassy Sky being followed by Dezane Gray. Absolute plum, three wide, needs to find a position. They were followed by Naughty Love, together with big player Alounder Star midfield. Then Gems Man, who's just worse than midfield, got shuffled back. The outside of those, Schwa Riska with neck minute. Pirates Alley second last and it's charging bull last of all. 800 metres to run so they head to the Charles Street side of the course and it's a lot of fighting. The grey showing the way a neck. Running second I had a dream. Absolute Plum's going to do this three wide for the entirety. They were followed next of all by Sassy Sky. The fence Design Grey around a star who's doing extra work. Followed by Big Player. The fence is Naughty Love then Neck Minute Schwa Riska. Followed by Pirates Alley. Gems Man and last of all it's charging bull. 400 metres to run. They approach the straight and it's a lot of fighting at start four brings them into the straight with a narrow lead but here's I had a dream with absolute plum who's been three wide throughout but starts to extend it's absolute plum who hit the lead to Zane Gray down the outside they were followed by a lot of fighting sassy sky no run absolute plum with a hundred meters to run nicely clear down the outside pirates alley but that's a big win absolute plum three wide throughout gets the job done second to Zane Gray third pirates alley fourth Chua Riska they were followed in next of all by Jeff Gems man, sassy sky, big player, neck minute. And then we had a lounder star, charging bull, naughty love, well back to a lot of fighting. And one of the last was I had a dream. Number six, absolute plump. Tough win. Very tough. Absolute plum gives Peter Fernie the first two on the card today. Skipped away at the top of the straight. There was a bit of traffic over on the fence. Sassy Sky never saw daylight with a lot of fighting coming back on it. Uh, of the others, Schwa Risker every chance. Pirates Alley's done its best work late. Big player, one pace to the line. Dezane Gray, a better run today, has hit the line strong. 6397, the numbers. Absolute plum. Pete Fernie, Lucy Fiore, barrier 14, sits three wide throughout and gets the job done by Bert de Grease from Gloriana, owned by Andrew Ingalls, and breaks through at start five. Second across the line was the three, Dezane Gray, Gary Bowen, Victoria Corver by Bert de Grease as well, from Miss Wild, owned by Vernon Brockman, A. Van Merwick, J. Moritz, D. Andrews, Mrs. H. Andrews, Mrs. L. Britton, J. Brockman, and R. Lestier. Third in was the nine, and uh, that is Pirates Alley, Pete Fernie and running for this minor placing by Palantino from New Orleans. Owned by Mrs. A. Williams, E. Galanti, R. Wilson, B. Greenwood, J. Lawrence, also Mrs. K. Kopazuski, P. Kopazuski, R. Donnelly, P. Morris, B. Dowdle, F. Fairthorne, the S. Quinn Syndicate, also S. Kenworthy, Mrs. S. Olson, G. Bond, R. Gartrell and Mrs. A. Wallstrom. Fourth in was the seven, and that was Schwa Riska for Pete Fernie. Zephan Johnston Porter. So, first, third, and fourth there for Peter Fernie, and fifth as well, in fact. Six, three, nine, and seven, a half a length by a length, 125, 63. So, no records being broken there. $4.40, the winner returns on tote. So, you shopped a little bit better if you took the horse on tote. 5.20, a big place for Design Gray, and 3.50 there for Pilots. Alley gives you a pretty handsome trifecta in the end, over $700. They are the interim numbers there after the running of race number two. Race three is next. That is the Price Mining Services Handicap. We're going over the 2100 for the first time at the KBRC this year. Cassie Martin and the replacement rider on Alden. Number six, replacing Bo Banovic Edwards, a field of 11 where Rywood holds... The weight of money in the market at 190. You'll have to take the shorts, but uh, she does look a good thing in the next. Rywood, your 190 favourite. Tash Faithful jumps back aboard today. That's race three. It's coming up in 34 minutes' time. In the meantime, interim numbers 6, 3, 9, and 7.